the political drama is over. Adama Barrow will make his first major public appearance as president on Saturday. He took his oath out of office in neighboring Senegal after pulling off a shock electoral victory over former ruler Yaya Jame. Adama Barrow has never held any public office, and Gambians are hoping he'll bring change to a country that was ruled by Jame since 1994. Gambians, we are frustrated. Then we said enough is enough. Now that is new Gambia, new Barrow, expectations are high. Every sector of society, you know, uh, has been destroyed by the uh, Jami administration. And uh, it wouldn't take magic to fix those problems. Former President Yaya Jame fled into exile after the regional bloc, ECOWAS, persuaded him to hand over power. It marks the first democratic transition of power in the country's history. And Jame's supporters are now preparing for their new opposition role. The future still uh, is bright because, as you know, we've been in power for 22 years. And now we are the newest opposition party in the country. And uh, it's good a time also to, to, to test two coins, two sides of the co side of the coins. And uh, what happened as we speak now, we are regrouping and we have a large flowing in the country. President Barrow now faces some big challenges. He has inherited a divided military, which had pledged allegiance to the former president. The country's security is now handled by forces deployed by ECOWAS. On the 19th, we think that you have to fight. But now there is no fighting. There is nothing. Everything is calm. So you have to withdraw some forces and leave only the minimum to ensure the security of the president and the VIPs. The regional forces have a three-month mandate to remain in the country. But locals are worried about the security network when they are gone, which poses a huge challenge for the new government of President Barrow. Fidelis Mba, TLT World, Bakau, The Gambia.